good morning guys uh, so let me explain the thyroid gland with the help of this uh, uh, the uh, paper model so this is one lobe of the thyroid gland okay you know there are two lobes the right and the left lobe okay now this is the apex and this is the base all right so apex and the base so let me talk about the borders so here is the anterior border and this is the posterior border anterior border posterior border so considering this as the anterior border and the posterior border let's move on to the surfaces so this is the anterior but lateral surface anterior lateral surface this would be the posterior and the lateral surface posterior lateral surface okay we are talking about the right lobe here and this will be the medial surface is that clear the medial surface anterior lateral surface posterior lateral surface medial surface apex base now what is related to the anterior lateral surface because you start dissecting from here right anterior lateral surface you have to remove the skin we have to remove the superficial fascia along with the platysmus right and then we get to see a muscle which is running all the way from the sternum to the hyoid bone first is the sternohyoid then we have the sternothyroid and the omohyoid correct of course we have the sternocleo master that's more laterally but we have these muscles here okay what is related on the posterior lateral surface imagine this is the carotid sheath and its contents okay so this would be the carotid sheath and the contents which are related posterior laterally what is related medially is we have two tubes right so this will be the larynx and this will be the trachea right and right behind that we have the pharynx and the esophagus correct so they are the two tubes what are the two muscles what we see here we have the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx and the cricothyroid okay so and what are the two nerves so the nerves would be the recurrent laryngeal nerve from here and from above we have the uh, superior laryngeal nerve okay that is the external bra laryngeal branch laryngeal branch of the superior laryngeal nerve all right so now uh, let us move on to these uh, structures here let me show you this is the thyroid gland okay so the surfaces what are the surface this would be the anterior lateral surface this is the posterior lateral surface and medial is what is related deep see here can you see the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx here this is the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx okay and uh, here this you can see the cricothyroid here cricothyroid here and inferior mus uh, constrictor muscle of the pharynx here okay and uh, the posterior relations of course has to be the carotid sheath and its contents which you don't see here but superficial muscles superficially on the anterior lateral surface what are the structures what we see on the anterior lateral surface let me show it to you here this these are the structures what we see on the anterior lateral surface so what are they the sternohyoid then deep to that should be the sternothyroid and more laterally we have the super, super, uh, superior belly of the omohyoid muscle okay so here again let me orient you to the structure here on the right side on the left side is the more deeper dissection so here is the external carotid artery so this is the common carotid artery this is the external carotid artery here one of its branch you can see it's coming down that's a superior thyroid artery okay superior thyroid artery so this carotid sheath and it, its contents are the posterior lateral relation so anterior lateral relation are all these structures what we see here okay and uh, here is another model so this is the cricothyroid muscle here you can see the cut section so what muscle was coming and getting attached from here so this muscle will be the sternothyroid so imagine the apex of the thyroid gland was here like that okay imagine the apex of the thyroid gland was here like that so what is above it as I, as i told you the apex will be sandwiched between two muscles superficially or laterally we, we have the sterno thyroid on the deeper aspect here from here we have what muscle the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx so inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx will be here the apex is here and then over the apex runs this so which means that you can see these two muscles are sandwiching the apex so this cannot move further 
you cannot see the apex moving further okay so that's about this and here is another plastinated specimen so let me show you the structure here i hope you know all these triangles by now here is the isthmus of the thyroid gland overlying the second third and the fourth tracheal ring so this are this is a right lobe left lobe okay surfaces this surface is the anterolateral surface wherein you see these muscles they are already cut so we this muscle which has gone all the way to the hyoid bone is the sternohyoid and then next to that we see the superior belly of omohyoid so when i cut this deeper to that i should see another muscle that is the sternothyroid which i don't see it here maybe it has just got snapped off and um, that those are the anterior lateral relation now posterior lateral relation this is the posterior lateral relation and you should see the carotid sheath and its contents run, running like that okay coming in relation to that and if i am going to remove this then you get to see the structures which are related deeper to it what are the structures which are related deeper to it you know you know anyway it's sitting this is a tracheal rings right tracheal cartilage here so which means that so sorry laryngeal uh, larynx here and the tracheal cartilage here and you can see this nice muscle here this is the inferior constrictor muscle of the pharynx okay so this is the esophagus this is where the esophagus begins this is the pharynx so here will be the superior constrictor muscle of the pharynx this will be the middle and the lower part will be the inferior constrictor so we are referring only to the inferior constrictor muscle because it part forms the deeper relation or the medial relation to the uh, thyroid gland and then of course not to forget about the nerve between the tracheoesophageal groove that is the recurrent laryngeal nerve and from above we have the external laryngeal nerve so that is it thank you very much